Hey guys, it's Shadow the Rat, and in today's video I will be doing the third part to my baby taming series. So as usual, I'll be working with my girls Mocha, who is currently at the top of the cage, and S'more, who is drinking some water. And I do want to say that I am actually going on vacation for a few days uh, tomorrow, so I'm not going to be posting taming videos for a few days after this. Just going to say that in advance because when I get back, it's probably going to take a day or two to get them back to the point that we're at now. That's why in today's session, I'm not actually going to take them out of the cage and really work there. Mostly because I just want to work a little bit on handling before we go. Oh, bless you, Biscuit. And that's pretty much what we'll be doing today. So I'm going to work a lot on voluntary contact and handling and stuff like that. So pretty much all that entails is... You can see some more here. I basically just pet them, touch them, and offer them the treat. Let them kind of nibble at it between my fingers. And then once I've done it for a few seconds, once I've been petting them for a few seconds, then I will release the treat into their mouth. <laughs> and they can run away with it. So this way what they learn is that if they endure the contact for a little bit, then they're going to end up getting the treat. <laughs> Poke is being so bouncy. But yeah, that's basically what I'm working on here. The other thing I am working on is basically just getting them to be okay with my hand. You can see here I have my hand here. She doesn't mind being on my hand, but they're still kind of not huge fans of it. Of course, they're even less of handling fans. So One other thing I've been practicing or I will be practicing is kind of just getting them used to having my hands over them and giving them a treat, rewarding them for just sticking nearby when that happens. Funny enough, while Mocha is a little bit more explorative outside the cage, inside the cage it seems like S'more is progressing quicker. You can see I can touch her for a few seconds, then give her the treat, and she doesn't mind it as much, whereas with Mocha, she's a little bit more sensitive to being touched like that. Ah, espresso, stop taking all the treats. So another thing I've been doing is just scooping them up like that, putting them down, offering a treat, and then letting them go. Wow, see at that time she even ate it on my lap. So like, she's not a huge fan of being scooped up by any means, but she doesn't view it as badly as she did a few days ago, which is obviously a big improvement. Where'd you go, Mocha? Mocha, baby Mocha. Oh, there you went. I don't understand, you guys are so freaking quick. Man, one of the things about these little guys is they can scale the cage within <laughs> two seconds flat. Like, they'll be on the bottom level, I'll be looking at them and wanting to offer them a treat, and the next thing I know, they're actually halfway across the cage. So it's kind of insane just seeing how fast they are. I know all young rats are fast, but I swear, like, my middle girls here, I don't think they were that fast, or maybe it's just because they were less skittish, so... See, oh, look, that time she even let me pick her up without a huge fuss. And look at that, look at this. See, so this is a lot of progress, and the cool thing is, she just wants to know that... I'm not going to hold her for a prolonged time. And I find that this is an issue that a lot of timid rats have. They don't want to be restrained, really. Uh, once you have them picked up, they don't mind it so much, but they don't want you to keep holding them while they struggle. I mean, no one wants that. So one of the things I like to do is I'll pick them up, give them a treat when I put them down, because they're not going to eat it while I'm holding them if they're still skittish about that. However, if I can put them down and then give them a treat, that works really well. So in the case of Mocha, I'm not doing that yet because she is, like I said, a little bit more sensitive to touch. But in the case of S'more here, I'm able to do that just because she isn't as affected. Although you can still see that she is very jumpy. <laughs> Hi, baby. Hi, baby. Come on. I have no idea where Mocha went. Mocha. Mocha, baby. Oh, I actually see her. She's in the dig tank. The rats made a huge burrow in the dig tank, and it's really cool because there's this little clear part. Um, let me let me go ahead and show you, actually, because I think you can see Mocha in there. So she's right there, you can see. So she's in the dig tank, which is their absolute favorite. There's always at least four of them in there if they're in the cage, pretty much. They just absolutely love it. It's a 20 gallon long, uh, 30 inches long, 12 by 12 inches, uh, 12 high, 12 deep. But yeah, it's a great tank, and they like it a lot more than the 10 gallon because I can just fill it up with bedding, and they make these cool little burrows. Anyways, I know that's not really related to the topic of taming, but I think it's pretty cool to see how much they like it. Okay, then I have it refocused. And I actually have some of my rats in the playpen, so if you hear some weird noises, that's them 
hopefully not getting up to mischief. Guys, I'm just going to do something very smart. Just throw a bunch of treats in there. Yep, just free through a bunch of treats into the pen. Seems like a smart idea. Hey, baby. All right. Oh, you want it. You want it, you'll be it. So another thing you'll notice with S'more is that she sometimes lunges for the treat, and that's something we're working on. Uh, one of the things you might notice with a skittish rat, or really any skittish animal, is they kind of have conflicting interests when you bring out a treat. So first of all, they want it, but on the other hand, they're kind of scared to come get it. So they have this whole snatch action where they just want to go and grab it as fast as possible and then retreat. And of course, you don't want that with your rats because they can accidentally bite you by doing that, and I've had that happen in the past. So to get around it, all you have to do is when they go for the treat, you cover it in your hands like this, and they kind of have to nibble at it, and then once they're just gently nosing around, then you release it to them. And then you get something like Espresso here who is just gently nibbling around my fingers. I can't feel anything, and then I can give her the treat. And it's a very nice and gentle grab. So very sweet, very nice way to make sure that your rats never get too crazy about food to the point where they can accidentally hurt you. This is what makes training easier. When I had my rat Shadow, I didn't work on any exercises like this, and even though Shadow was super friendly, didn't want to hurt me at all, she learned to lunge for treats, and I ended up getting bloody fingers just because she would get me by accident, and it would hurt really badly. I don't know why I waited so long to actually address the issue, but then I finally decided to just go ahead and not give her the treat until she was just being nice around my fingers and nosing it. It just took like two days for her to learn this better behavior, so I don't know why I didn't address it sooner, but it was definitely helpful once I did, and now I like to teach all my rats to be gentle like that, especially if they're a little bit more timid. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, we got a nugget baby, we got a nugget baby, pick up the nugget baby. See, that's more of a normal response, and then I'd go ahead and I'd find her and I'd give her a cheerio. There you go. What are you doing, Biscuit? Biscuit nugget. Biscuit is not happy. Baby doesn't want to be cleaned. I'm sorry, Biscuit. Not everyone wants to be cleaned by your cute little nose. There's a baby nugget up top who keeps taking my noms. She's just so cute. It's hard to resist. Yeah, they're so cute. Now, you might ask why I'm not using liquid treats when I'm a big proponent of using them, especially when first taming. The main reason is I just kind of forgot to get them out. I will definitely use some in the future. These guys are obsessed with Cheerios, but I want to use some liquid stuff in the future as well, just because it does tend to be more valuable for them. Okay guys, so that's pretty much everything I have for you today. I know we didn't do as much today, but like I said, I am going on a trip, so I just wanted to go ahead and make a short video for the taming series. Anyways, I will be going on that trip like I said, so don't expect any taming videos for a few days. And when I come back, I'm going to go ahead and wait until we at least reach the place we were before I left. And then I will continue the series. So I don't know if they're going to regress while I'm gone or not. But if they do, it might take a little bit longer for me to get videos for this series out. Anyways, I will see you guys later. And I hope you have a good day. Bye!